My name is Madeleine van der Berg and I'm here today to share with you my journey, how I got involved with health and how I got involved with the AIM companies, especially Bali Life, and how I became independent financially through the AIM companies. It's a wonderful pleasure for me to be here this morning and I would really like to encourage each one of you out there today that if I can do what I'm doing today, you can do this as well. Now what happened to me was years ago, my little boy was born as a very sickly little baby. He had eczema all over his skin. He had asthma. He had grommets because of ear infections. He had the whole allergy thing. And I didn't know a thing about nutrition. I used to work as a, uh, a graphic artist for the intelligence service. And then I got involved with the AIM companies. But it was through divine intervention. One day, while I were at home, and I was struggling with this little boy, and he was about the age of four, he was diagnosed with asthma by three medical professionals and they told me he will have asthma for the rest of his life. I was so devastated, I didn't want to take the asthma medication. So I went back home and I went on my knees and I asked the Lord to please show me what am I doing wrong. That was my prayer. I prayed, Lord, show me what am I doing wrong. And within the next month, I got involved by a new Bible study group and there this lady by the name of Joan von Rensburg were chatting about cookery demonstrations and healthy eating habits and she asked me to come and join her cookery dems and she said I should use barley life, that time it used to be barley green on my son, um, I should give this green stuff to him and it will help him with the asthma. I was very skeptic at the beginning and I didn't want to uh, really get involved with this whole story, I thought it was a company just trying to get money or um, somebody who's trying to get me involved to earn them some extra income. So very skeptically, I tried the barley life or the old barley green out for about two, three weeks. And my son th went through a severe detoxification process. And um, I went back to Joan and I was so worried about this and she just went on with this road and she helped me. She said, um, she explained the detox and she said, come and attend the cookery demonstrations. Here's some books to read. So. I went back, I gave my son the barley green and it, about, it took him about six months to get rid of the asthma. I also made some dietary changes and I started studying, um, re reading up on some books. I attended the cookery demonstrations and through Joan and through what she's taught me, I managed to help my son to get rid of the asthma. Now he's turning 15 this year, he's 14 and for the last 10 years he never had an asthma attack again. Also what happened, um, I saw through him that our health was in a very bad state. I used to struggle with severe hormonal problems. I used to struggle with chronic fatigue. Um, I had iron deficiency and um, dead tired at six o'clock at night. So I started on the AIM products together with my husband. And within a couple of months, we had such a huge improvement in our health that um, uh, we were amazed and people were coming up to us and ask us what are you doing because I used to be in and out of hospital with my little boy. He used to be on this um, antibiotics and that medication so we had a tremendous improvement in our whole family's health. Now what happened in that same time uh, or during that same time was that I was on my knees in front uh, before the Lord and I asked him, Lord we are struggling financially, I lost my car um, my husband couldn't keep up with two cars. I was a stay-at-home stay mom and I wanted to do my own thing. So I went back again and I asked the Lord, please help me. Show me something that I can do. Give me something that I can do on my own. And here AIM came along and it helped my son through their barley green and with the other products and it helped our health. And here this opportunity just opened up for us. So I went to Joan and I asked her, Joan, I want to do this as a business. Um, can you help me? So jo Joan agreed and I took her along for about five months. I grabbed her, her I, she, I took her and she did some meetings for me. I got involved with family and friends. I got them together and Joan came and did some talks on health and nutrition. And so I got into this AIM company. And after five months, I got to the stage of director. And then one day Joan phoned me and she said, I've had a double booking for a meeting and I won't be able to do both. Won't you please help me out and go and do this meeting for me? Now I was this Afrikaans lady and I was scared to talk in front of people, to do public speaking. Now I'm going to 
back up a bit and I'm going to share with you this little testimony. When I was at school uh, during primary years, I loved public, public speaking and I would love getting up onto the stage and share with people um, and, and just be on the stage. And then on the, at the age of about, oh, I would say 14, 15, I was in high school my first year, I had to do this um, public speaking thing on the stage and when I got up and I stood on the stage, I freezed and for about two minutes I didn't say a word and this huge, I, I, I practiced very well, I um, did the whole thing at home, I did it in front of the mirror, but when I got on the stage and I had to do it in front of all these people, it was like I had stage fright and for two minutes I couldn't out, uh, get out a word. So the um, one of the principals and the teachers came up to me and he took me by the arm and he led me off the stage and from that day on I didn't um, get up onto the stage and I didn't do public speaking at all. Only at the age of about 18, 19 I would do small little talks in front of a small group of people but still I struggled with that. So now Joan was asking me to do a talk about health and nutrition and I'm an Afrikaans lady and I can't even speak English properly and I'm afraid of people or to stand in front of them and do this talk. So she asked me so nicely, she was even prepared to pay me. So I took the courage, I don't know from where, and I went to this meeting and the people were so kind to me. They just opened up their hearts and they received me, even though it wasn't a well-prepared speech, they just opened up the doors for me to start doing public speaking again. So I've overcome that obstacle and nowadays I can really um, testify to you that I am doing health and nutrition in front of lot, um, millions of people or lots, thousands of people. I've been on Radio Pulpit for instance in South Africa doing talks on health and nutrition. I've do, I'm doing women's talks, uh, women's breakfasts in the mor morning on hormonal health. I do immunity and baby health and children and colon health on the stage and um, I'm not afraid to speak in front of people anymore. So that was a huge thing that AIM did for me. And then what also happened, during the years I really struggled financially. Um, I always used to say when, we, when I was a child, I always told myself I will never, never be financially where my mom and dad used to be. As children we, we grew up in a very poor home and um, if I can even remember my dad not being able to pay our school fees at times and you felt so ashamed and you felt like how can this be and I would never would like to do this to my children when they grew up so I would love to be able to pay their school fees and I would love to be able to to pay my own home and have my own car and do my own business and pay for my own things and here AIM came along and they gave me this opportunity to really be financially independent I am today able to pay my son's school fees, I am able to drive in my own car, pay for my own home. What also happened during those early years while I was busy with AIM, I went through a terrible divorce and for anybody who knows me, family is the most important thing to me um, and it was a very difficult, difficult time for me to go through this divorce, to accept it in the first place, to really uh, uh, accept that I will be a single parent and I have to grow, get my child uh, grow, grow, growing up in a single parent home. That was very difficult for me but financially AIM provided the ways and the means for me to do that. Um, even this year 2007 I was able to take my son to the um, um, Orlando convention that AIM hosted um, in Florida. Orlando and then I took him to Disney World where a couple of years ago uh, back we couldn't have done that financially so AIM has really provided us with ways and means to, um, to bless my family health wise, body wise and today even financially wise. I am so blessed by this company. I really want to thank um, Dennis and Kay and Ron and his wife and the owners of the company for what they've done for AIM. Um, I want to thank the AIM companies for all the hard work, all the staff at the AIM head office, especially AIM South Africa. The staff at AIM South Africa has been a great help for me the last couple of years. They are always kind, they are always on time, they, um, if I phone them they are there immediately to help me. I would like to thank Joan and Chris von Rensburg, my upline, and here I would really want to commend any upline. I would like. Upline, you are so important for your downline. So I would like to encourage Upline to 
tap into their downline and to be there for them because Chris and Joan van Rensburg has been those, that example for me. They've been there for me th during the divorce, they've been there for me helping me with meetings, helping me with product even when I couldn't afford it. I could always go to them and get some product and give it back to them. Um, they've been there just for being my friends and it was wonderful to walk this journey with them. Then I would like to say thank you to all my downline. Downline are so important. They get you where you are at now. And um, I really adore my downline. I've made wonderful friends and each one of them has their own special story to tell and their own little testimony on how they got involved with the end companies and all these products. Um, I, I really thank all my downline. And then I want to thank the Lord. If it weren't for Him and all the many blessings that He brought into my life, I wouldn't have been here today. And then lastly, I would like to thank my son, that little boy of mine. During the difficult years, he would go with me to all these meetings and he will sit on the chair and he will swing his little legs and he will say, Mommy, Mommy, remind me them to tell them about the barley life and about the asthma. And um, I can really say that my son has been there for me as well. I've learned so much through him and um, he's such a great blessing. And today he will, wherever he goes, he will even tell his friends, you must try this and this and this product from AIM because look what it's done for my skin and it will help you with this and with that. So he's such a great blessing. Um, I would like to really encourage each mommy out there um, with little children. If you want to start the AIM business and you are worried about the time that it will take away from your children or you can't do it now because the children are too small, there are ways and means to do it. I've done it and sometimes I took my son with, sometimes I had to leave him at places but he grew and he learned through the AIM companies and um, you can do this.